Hey guys, Crazy back here again from Frontera One, and uh, today I am going to explain, well, um, show you guys what I buy from the weekly stuff. So, what is worth it to buy from the weekly stuff? Uh, first off, we go to the diamond shop. So I already bought most of it. Um, Usually every week, uh, th these are the things that I buy. See, uh, Type B module. Um, this is a not must. The gacha ticket and also the um, super pack coupon because you will get it eventually. But the one that is mu um, must, based on my opinion, is uh, Type B module. I think for progress. If you are already maxed out in um, your Type B, which is too great, then you don't need. You can just skip this. Uh, this one is a must, chaotic fragment, because uh, I know for a fact most people uh, haven't like two star, three star the their um, the things that you get from here. <laughs> uh, this is a not must. So, um, wait, that B module, chaotic card. Um, this all the time space feathers if you haven't maxed it out yet you can go for it this one as well missy statue box uh, this this but most importantly this the optional the new statue box this one you open it and there's a lot uh, of stuff that helps in pvp content and for now I'm buying a lot of Della Chisel and also Della Hammer because I need it for the statue. Right now, the resources are lacking so much over uh, at for these chisel and hammer. Okay, besides that, this is important and also uh, the seed, Malango seed, and don't forget to get the weekly flock sigil crystal. For me, what I will get again is oh i actually skipped the pet one because pet one is not that important especially if you haven't maxed out the other ones um, besides that i would get this and if you were you are planning to change jobs or if you are planning to like re-roll your um re-roll re -roll your uh stats for your nexus with five then you should get all of this yeah, so I'm planning to buy this and this. Eh, hold on. And this, yeah. Uh, and if you are planning to change jobs, you should um, stack on these in your screw before you actually change jobs. Usually around one, uh, 100, 120, 200. Yeah, people save a lot because sometimes you just, um, those talents for nexuses are important. So for the consumable weekly, oh, I haven't bought these. Actually, um, max out these. Um, I I think I have enough speedy candy for now, but yeah, uh, you can buy those later on. This this I always max out these. Um, and let's skip it. Because there's a lot of things that we need to skip these days. I think I have enough uh, bloody branch and the branch. Oh, there's a new update. See? Yeah. So I skip those. Uh, and let's go to the shop. Okay, so from the guild shop, the ones that needed to be bought is actually the Crescent Moon and. Um, only two, basically it's only two, Press of Moon and um, Press of Freedom. But if you are lacking of other things, and if you are active in playing this game, then you can buy um, little little things like Bell Chisel. But right now, I, I'm already at Rainbow 5, and um, there's no rush for me to go planet, so I'm taking it slow. So I'm skipping the Press of Moon, so I can get um, Hydra. For my card deck, more Hydra um, to level up my card deck because to level one I need two Hydra uh, illusion. Okay, so moving on to Union. 
Union. Um, I am actually aiming for the Illusion um, Skellwork Skellworker card. Yeah. Um, if you don't aim for this, then you can just switch it out. Usually, if I don't aim for this, I get dealt hammer because um, you can you can never be what, lacking of it. No, uh, you can never be having too much of it. <laughs> And maybe Ash of Dalek. But yeah. I don't I don't buy binding gem because it's so expensive over really. there. It's so not worth it. Maybe Lucky Candy if you're lack, lacking of it. But yeah, I'm saving up for illusion card scouting worker for now. And Academy Academy you can um oh I haven't bought my stuff from Academy. I always buy this. Chorus and this Melango Seed and Melango Snowflake and I think that's, that's it. I only buy those two. The rest I just save it up um, for later on. I might just buy this one to level 2 my Tara Frog. Right now it's level 1, but uh, yeah, in due time, slowly. Courage shop. Um, usually, I buy these two, but lately we've been lacking of um, courage. Um, emblem. This is called courage emblem. emblem of courage. Yeah. So, the most important things are the titles. So, since I am forfeiting my moon, um, yeah, is it moon? Yeah, something like that. I am. Buying all the titles from here, the hammer. So these are the most important things that I buy from him. Chapter of Freedom, the hammer, press of conquer, press of venture, and hero token. Hero token is quite important because you can you can get uh, crest of conquer and press of venture from um, from time space abnormality. And yeah, other than that, um, I can just skip the rest. It's not that important. You can buy these two if you want, but yeah, I don't. Uh, I have quite a few in storage. For this dimension shop, I always get this Delatamu. I haven't buy anything this week. This one I already bought like from um, the previous store cup, but yeah, I haven't bought anything this week. So um, once this reaches. Once this reaches uh, 1,500, uh, 1, I'm gonna buy um, out all this Del Delatamu. I don't think Refine Optional Pack is uh, that necessary to buy. Uh, unless you're F2P, then you should maybe consider buying it. But yeah, it's, it's still a gacha thing. One thing's for sure, I always go for uh, certainty. So something that is certain to level up your character is more prioritized than a gacha like hammer this is something that's 100% uh, will uh, help in character progress this will help but it's a gacha so yeah by due time next is betting shop betting shop <laughs> you can see my betting coins are already like bleak so sad i have really little betting points but if you do have it um, go for the press of freedom and press of conquer uh, yeah you can buy light and dark optional chest as well if you're lacking of it but i think the rest are not that worth it like time space not worth it uh, um this box not worth it because you get it for, for like you can exchange diamonds for these okay accessory shop every week okay accessory shop every week i buy these um the radiant ornament uh, magic box and uh, this one uh, level um 115 accessories box why i still buy the <coughs> sorry why i still buy the level 115 accessory box because to get this the the currency required to buy the radiant ornament uh, magic box if i get like a two slot um, level 115 accessory then i can dismantle it and get more of the this what what gem is this uh, 
gray colored gem yeah and um, if you get anything from here you can dismantle it to gacha your um, red accessories if you have it but from here you can't get any red you mostly will get orange um, if you're lucky enough so yeah those two and if you have extra you can buy these and combine them later on for your refinement. <clears throat> I buy these from here. And uh, this one, all depending on you. You can buy it if you're lacking of it. But yeah. And uh, do restock these, sometimes it's important. And also this the pet blueberry juice for your pet's X, uh, SP so when you farm like you're using EL or um, Gunnel they can continuously skill without you worrying about their XP okay statue shop uh, statue shop is quite straightforward uh, I'll buy these ones if I have any the lot I shop the lot Currently, I'm lacking of it. Um, so, for the card thingies, yeah, um, I don't buy much uh, right now because I'm saving up for my Get Gun set. Get Gun set. And this one is completely dependent on your character, um, which one of these you're, you want to buy. But do save, do save up and make sure you have everything, every one of these um, to deposit on your normal depot, card depot. Varus, every week, as much as possible, I buy this, titanium. So, um, for example, if you don't have like a, mm, a low weight 5 Smeldon, you, the best next thing is your um, low weight gimmick. So, if you change jobs in the future, of course, um, some people who change jobs, then buy this. But if you are like 100%, you will stay that job forever uh, until the game ends, then yeah, just skip it. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> XP shop. Mm. Yeah, XP shop just focus on the berries. Uh, don't buy any of these first unless you already maxed out your berries. Um, for an extra shop, buy this weekly if you are um, F2P or maybe, uh, I don't know. Lately, I haven't been focusing on buying the Type E modules because we can get it from the cat, cat gacha thingy. The cat ticket weekly gacha thingy gives us a lot of this. So um, I think it's a waste of the 400. Right now I am actually chasing more of the um, this the Type B module because I have a lot in, um, of two grids in my P sets that I want to max out. Oh yeah, and uh, if you are not um, if you haven't maxed out on your uh, if you haven't got the perfect roll for your uh, stacks in your grid 5 get this yeah even one per week is still okay it's still decent to have I think that's about it except for this exploration shop exploration shop quite straightforward all the titles and the hero token hero token is quite important and the rest I don't think it's worth it. I don't think any of these are worth it to buy over here. Except for these. But yeah, don't forget to buy um, the gift shops for your affinities, for our affinities, um, to the ones that you want to max up first. Buy it because it's a daily thing. They know I'm lacking of diamonds. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. 
uh, thank you for watching this uh, stream. I hope it helps you guys. And if you have any um, questions or any suggestions, please feel free to drop a comment. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. See you guys. Bye.